Hola, K Pasta fam. What's up? It's me, Big Will, coming to you once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Black Sit to Panama. Coming to you this morning from the rooftop of the Coronado Bay uh, condominiums. And I uh, wanted to take some time to show you a little bit about Coronado, give you some details on what's going on. Uh, before we jump into all of that, please, please, please uh, take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to show you this good content. All right, well, let's get started and show you all about Coronado, fam. Salute. Coronado is a highly popular beach town located on the Pacific coast of Panama. Situated an hour and a half drive from Panama City along the Pan American Highway, it is in the Arco Seco or Dry Arc stretch of coastline, so named because of the remarkably low rainfall it receives each year. For years, Coronado has been a gateway for Panamanians in need of a sun soaked beach break. More recently, it has experienced a huge boom thanks to a thriving expat community that is growing here all the time. The beach at Coronado is expansive and gorgeous. A tranquil ocean laps at salt and pepper shoreline with sand that morphs from black to white to gray all within a few feet. The black sand is a result of volcanic ashes in the water and makes for a spectacularly unique beach setting. The swimming here is a bit touchy for a guy like myself from the east coast of the United States as the waves can be surfed along this coast. That said, water sports such as jet skiing and kayaking are very popular here. Although the coast is lined by million dollar mansions, it has remained uncrowded for the most part and gives room for a variety of activities. ATVs cruise up and down the coast as do horseback riders and scores of kids playing soccer. Much of Coronado lies within a large gated area dominated by the Coronado Esvita development. New property purchases here and some resales can come with a membership to the exclusive Coronado Golf Country Club, where a $200 a month fee gets you unlimited greens fees, access to the beach club and all activities, as well as access to the hotel restaurants and bars, tennis courts, gym, and spa. Coronado is one of the more developed beach resorts along the Pacific coast. Often regarded as the epicenter of beach life in Panama, property here is affordable and infrastructure is already in place. Coronado offers everything from luxury condos to cozy resale homes to lots of every shape and size. But to save as much as possible, you may want to look to a neighboring Gorgona. You won't find a lot of houses on the water but many of the properties available here are just a five minute walk to the beach where gleaming white sands with swirls of glittering black await. An outcropping of services have popped up near the turn off to Coronado to serve the many residents. These include a large shopping complex, 24 hour supermarkets, pharmacy, gas stations, post office, ATM, art gallery, rodeo, and a full medical center. Generally, this area is well stocked and more affluent than other parts of Panama. Carnado caters to most first world needs and those living here can still enjoy many, if not all, the conveniences of life back home, except at a much reduced price. Coronado has plenty of shopping available for almost any need or desire you can think of. For example, there is the Do It Center, which is comparable to our Target, or the Machetazo, which is like Walmart, except with all the trashy people. <laughs> you can even get groceries or liquor there. There's a movie theater in town, 
where I'll be going to see the next Marvel Black Widow movie tomorrow at their English showing. That's right, folks. You can still catch the latest blockbusters here, too. Residents have several grocery shopping options to choose from. There's Super 99. There's Reba Smith, which I keep hearing is like our Wegmans or Trader Joe's. And there's my personal favorite, Ray. Why is it my favorite? They have almost everything, and it is the closest to me. Go figure. Residents also have many options for eating out. You have a mix of local Panamanian fondas, which are like family-owned businesses, and restaurants that cater to the many expats that come here from all over the planet. One can get Italian, Chinese, Thai, or even French. Some of our favorites include Luna Rosa, a terrific Italian restaurant in walking distance from us. There's Sandbar Gastro Pub, a sports bar that also has live music and a nice patio. Lounge 507, a great snack cafe that serves terrific sandwiches. And there's Don Chacho Grill, where a couple can get a steak and a lobster for dinner and only spend $20. We absolutely love this place. And of course, one of the famous expat spots here, Picasso Restaurant, where expats gather on Thursdays for trivia night or on Saturday for live music. They also serve a fantastic breakfast. I suggest the Salmon Benedict. Mm, mm, mm. Fat boy approved. So Will, talk to me about the cost of living in Coronado. Okay. It's really going to depend on whether you want to live in a condo or a single family home and whether you want to rent or buy. A two bedroom condo apartment rental in one of the high rises can run you anywhere from $1,100 to $1,600 a month on average. This can also include utilities too, but you need to make sure to check first. You can purchase one of these apartments between the mid 100s and low 300s depending on which building you choose and how high up you want to be. Of course, a penthouse will run you just a bit more, baller. Utilities like cable, internet, and electricity all tend to be cheaper than what you see in the United States. And paying attention to which side of a building your apartment is located on can save you some money as well as apartments facing the east have less time and direct sunlight and have a nice ocean breeze. The pricing for a single family home tends to be a bit cheaper than that for the condo apartments. You can find some really good deals like this three bedroom for 150 grand or this four bedroom for rent for only $700 a month. As you can see, the area of Coronado has much to offer the discriminating individual looking to make a quick exodus from the United States. That's exactly why we chose to make this our home base as we get to know Panama. I gotta admit, it's a pretty cool place to be, no doubt. Well fam, that's it for this episode. Please join us next time as we continue to explore Panama. Ciao!